By the way, everything is now... I must thank you for saving our Tanya. You have brought joy again into our lives. We are... <laughs> We are now kind of stuck a here. Garlic souffle. Ugh. Oy, I don't know how we can ever thank you enough. Oy, it's such a joy to have my little Tanya home again. You tell again how Toby sacrificed himself for Tanya. He may have looked like a monster, but he obviously had a heart and mind of great kindness. Remind the innkeeper that the vampires are still in the castle. And there may be other attempts at getting Tanya. We understand. And we will make certain no vampire can come near her again. Uh, anyways. Uh, if we attempt to meet Katrina, something odd will happen. But, no. Oh. She is her joyful self again. The sound of a child's voice is the sweetest of music. We will do our best to show our love and never, never let her be afraid of the dark again. I have always found it difficult to express emotion. Mordavian men are not supposed to show such things. Yet I cried freely when you brought Tanya back to us. I cannot remember ever being so, so happy. I do not know what to make of Tanya's stories about vampires. It is hard to imagine my lovely daughter as an undead. Gladly, though, I would go to the castle and drive a stake through the heart of the one who stole our daughter from us. Tanya is her cheerful, loving self again. I could never thank you enough for the kindness you have shown us all. Boy, uh. I knew Tanya was alive somewhere. Hmm. I never lost hope that she would return. Bella, you heard his story. Tanya was dead, an undead, a Nosferatu. She is fine right now, isn't she? As long as she's alive and well, what does it matter? I don't understand with all this talk about vampires and Tanya. She has returned healthy and happy, and uh, this is what's important. Of course, I will never forgive the woman who stole my baby from me. Still, I think I can understand her a little bit. Uh, I, too, have always wanted a child such as Tanya. Oy, I am only overjoyed to have my Tanya back. I didn't like him. He didn't like me. He didn't like Katrina either. They were always having fights. But he had to do what she told him to do, and that made him very mad. I like Trina. She was kind to me and gave me lots of nice things. She even taught me to read and write. But I'll never go back to her. I want to stay with my mom and dad. Toby was my best friend in all the world. I wish she could come and live with us here. I'm happy to be home again. Everyone in town has come to see me and talk to me, and it's fun to be important. I like it. Yay. You have brought real joy to Mordavia by bringing Tanya back. When she was stolen, it was as if all the laughter here had been taken as well. You gave us back our happiness. You are always on the go, my friend. Take care. 
So yeah, it's day 15, no, it's day 14, figure three more days, and then it's time to go. Let's see here, uh, is there anything I really want to show off? No, not really, so I'm going to pause it here until something important happens, so I'll be right back. All right, here we go, end of day 14, and here's the important thing. You awaken. You'll notice a note. Who is this note from? The note says, meet me at the castle gates tonight. We have much to talk about. Katrina. Today's going to be fun. Care to guess why? Nothing like a good breakfast. One thing you can say. Dun, dun. Get the stuff. Drain my magic a good quantity. Rest until nightfall. Maria, I should be most pleased to give you a recommendation into the Academy of Science there. Science needs more adherence with your energy. Fetch your magical vessel. I figured drain my MP about halfway and then it's time to have some fun. That I do it. And of course, I break the freaking voice. Typical. Oh, hell, come on. It came from the town? I accidentally told it to make me run. You have to stand. St Damn it. Die, damn you. Oh, you do your best to try to keep your stats, uh, to keep your magic up, and look at what happens. Freaking typical. No. What time is it? Day 15. After some rest. Good. After. After. After some rest. Let's see here. I would like. The glide spell. No, that's glide. You cast the protection spell. You cast the reversal spell. You cast the aura spell. I wonder why I'm casting these spells. Can you guess? Hello, Adavis. How nice of you to come. I'm afraid I accidentally signed the wrong name to your note. It's been ages since we last met. Come here and let me... Look at you. I'm about to accidentally your face into the ground. 
your whole face. And tell Adavis that you've killed him once and you'll just have to kill him again. Good luck, monkey boy. You see, I'm already dead. Your feeble attacks mean nothing to me in my present form. Hmm. You tell Adavis that you are here because of a note you received from Katrina. <laughs> you weak-minded fool. You're so easy to manipulate. That note was from me, not from your precious Katrina. With the utmost courtesy, you apologize to Adavis for having killed him in a horrible, fiery death back in Russia. <laughs> You destroyed my plans of world domination and ended my life, turning me into a mere vampire slave for Katrina. I will have my vengeance upon you both. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you have no power against one such as I. Let's play a little game of fox and hound, shall we? I have summoned the hounds of death. Now we shall see whether you've kept up with your running lessons. Um, shit! Ah, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, uh, eat this! Horseshit! Ah, uh, fuck this run! Protection spell has worn off. Typical. You fool! Did you really believe you could get away from me? I have you now, and you will pay for my death. It is you that caused me to become a vampire. If you had not killed me, I would never be forced to serve the Dark Master again. You probably blame me for all the problems around here, don't you? You understand nothing. The Dark Master is the cause of all the woe that is here. The Dark Master brought you here against my better judgment. The Dark Master made me what I am now, a Nosferatu, and seeks to do the same to you. But I shall spare you that fate. I will mercifully end your miserable existence. Then the Dark Master and I will call forth eternal darkness, and we will no longer be limited to travel at night. Together. My master and I will create an army of undead, and we will conquer the world. Pity you won't be there to witness this. You cannot stop us now. You will never find your way out of this dungeon, and only a stake through the heart or more magic than you will ever have can stop us. You will die, knowing that you were destroyed by the Dark Master. Ah, the sun now rises, and I must go to my rest. You too shall rest. I will not allow you the chance to escape your fate, or to use that stake and hammer I torment you with here. <laughs> Weapons of my destruction so close at hand, and yet so far. Sleep now, great hero. Tomorrow, you die. find yourself falling asleep. Your order has evaporated. Shit.